what, what I enjoy most now is seeing my customers on a, a regular basis and talking to them. I'm very proud of how far I've accomplished this project. Micro Enterprise Project provides a process to work through with people who live with disability to be able to have their own business. It's an alternative to day options and sheltered workshops and those sorts of things. Uh, an alternative for everybody in, in career is to have your own business. I understand my own business called Isabel, so it's all about photography and positive quotes. So I'll take photos and I'll edit them and combine quotes with the photos. Magnets, stickers, bookmarks, my one day yoga mat. We tailor make a business to suit each individual person's skills, interests and talents and capacity for work. It's sort of um, backwards in a way. We're not fitting a gap in the market. We're creating a business that's exactly right for a person and then finding a market for that business. In the beginning, if someone's interested in microenterprise project and thinks it might be right for them, we arrange a meeting to go through the process and the values behind it so that people have got a good idea of what it is and how it's going to work for them. If they decide to go ahead, we'll appoint a consultant to work alongside the person and their key loved ones. That role of the consultant was vital in the early days. About three months it took to establish where we would begin, in a way, with the business. It was vital to have all those steps. You know, first you have to start with an idea, then through the consultant's role, get steps through all this discovery of Emily as a person, as a potential business owner. With her disabilities, what could she bring to the micro-enterprise? We had our own shredder here as a family, and every time she came here she wanted to shred. So the idea grew from that. With CLP Micro Enterprise embracing all of that, we were able to make it a successful business. And it still is. I was at Bedford and for nine years I started to get really bored of it. So I thought, why not try something new? Well, we took a while to come up with ideas and once I was like, yeah, that's the one for me. The first step is the discovery phase and it's really critical to get it right from the beginning. That's the time that the consultant gets to know the person with disability and all about them, their interests, skills, passions, um, how they tick, um, what capacity they have for work, is it five days a week, two days a week, um, what hours of the day makes sense for that person. Also finding out what resources are around, so is there a spare room in the house to run a business from? Is there a garage space? Is there computer equipment? So usually by the end of the discovery phase a business idea has emerged um, and also a notion of what days and hours the business will run. At that point the consultant goes into the exploration phase and that's putting together an enterprise management group. That group is meeting once a month to work out the next step which is branding. What's the business going to be called? What's the logo going to look like? Getting the product worked out in more detail and that's the fun stuff you know management groups love working from the beginning also they're going to be thinking about finances how they're going to record the finances of the business then the first step for the management group is to employ a personal assistant and that's a paid role and that's the person that works alongside the person with disability the business owner um, on the days and hours of business they don't do any other work they don't do any other support work they're there to, to be dedicated for the enterprise and they're employed with the skills of the enterprise, whether that be floristry, art, woodwork, whatever the business focus is, the PA is employed with those skills. So once the PA is in place and, the, and, and they're perfecting the product, then customers are found, that's when the marketing happens. And, and that can be the enterprise management group might use their own networks to help find customers. Also the PA and the business owner will be out looking for customers. So whatever works um, is what happens. Uh, and at that point, the business has launched and develops its own nice routine and flow with tasks and um, making a product, delivering a product, buying materials, going to the bank. At that point, it's in a maintenance phase. And so the consultant will help the management group just to keep things running along smoothly and problem solving anything along the way. The consultant works side by side, um, the person with disability and their key loved ones the whole way through and always teething problems, you can count on it, but we work through it together and the consultant helps you through. In some cases, people will use their existing NDIS plan to um, go through the discovery phase um, and at that point, 
determine whether they want to continue or not and, and they might need to request the funding in their review so then they would want to um, request microenterprise project as part of an employment goal. It, it does help to shift people's mindsets and um, challenge people's perceptions of what people who live with disability are capable of. Everybody has the opportunity to choose to be a business owner if that's the right thing for them and that have the confidence to think that it's something that they could achieve and that it is possible because they've seen other people do it. And it's not something that's unusual, it's something that's accepted and for society to realise that people with disability have a contribution to make.